Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today we're going to take a look at some Ford and Mercury castings. Um, should be some pretty decent ones in here, so stay tuned and uh, let's see what we got. This one we're going to start with is a 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. As you can see right here by the packaging, it is a 2009 new model, so it debuted in 2009 mainline. Uh, there was probably, I think, three different variations of it right away, uh, plus a Walmart exclusive, I believe, that had redline wheels. And uh, it's a nice-looking casting. Um, it's been used quite a bit since 2009. Well, let's see here. So... Notable releases aside from a bunch of main lines. Um, it had a K-Day uh, release. Um, it had a Zamac release in 2013. Um, I think that's pretty much it for notable releases aside from the fact that it was in a uh, our last scene in 2018 in a 5-pack. It's a pretty nice mainline casting. I think it looks pretty nice. Nice clean sort of tampo going on on the side here with a stripe, eliminator, cougar, uh, indicator, and then... Uh, both indicators are present. And then we've got uh, nothing much for the grill as far as detail, just chrome part of the base. And the rear, the same thing going on back here. So for two exaggerated exhaust tips, at least those look a lot bigger than I think they should be. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad looking uh, mainline tooling. Pretty decent. Muscle car fans probably dig it. Uh, the spoiler on the back is plastic on this one. Now, this is the 2009 release. I don't know if eventually they got rid of that plastic spoiler and made it part of the body tooling. Um, I'm not sure. I don't have a more current release to share with you at the moment. So there that one is. And that's our first car for 10 Car Tuesday. Uh, next car we're going to look at is one of my favorites. This is the Ford Thunderbolt. Uh, this particular version you're looking at is from 2000. 10 main line it's in a kind of pearl white let's go ahead and open it now this casting has been released a ton of times and i collect it kind of after any variation i don't already have and i have quite a few of them um it debuted all the way back in 2001 in the main line there Ooh, we got like some sort of error here looks like someone like uh threw ink at the side of it almost that's interesting. The pearl white color is nice. Plastic base, chromed, uh, black interior. Anyway, where I was going here is this was 2001 mainline. 2002, it was a treasure hunt, like your regular treasure hunt, but with rubber tires and all that stuff. Um, it's had a few, like, non-mainline releases. It was in the, oh, the 2005 Real Rider set. Uh, it was released in the Classics series. It was in Drag Strip Demons, the old Drag Strip Demons. Uh, in 2009 and 2010, um, the military, fire, and cop rods had releases. It's had Walmart exclusive releases. It had Kmart exclusive releases. Um, just a whole lot of releases. It was last seen as a multi pack exclusive, I believe, in 2016 was the last we saw this casting. I like it quite a bit. I'm a fan of the Thunderbolt. I think it's just a cool casting by Ford. And this one's a little interesting. We got like two things going on here that are weird with it. One is this uh, ink right here. The other one is that the base is kind of on crooked, or you can see a little gap right there. Interesting. So there's that. I actually do have one more version of it to look at. This is uh, from the 2012 main line. I don't think it looks quite as nice as the white one. Doesn't have any of the issues of the white one, though. There it is in blue. With some blue tampos, white tampos. I think it looks pretty good. Again, chrome base, black interior, smoke tinted window windows. Looks all right. There's definitely better versions out there than these two, but these are two I had yet to open. So we went ahead and opened them on this 10 car Tuesday. So there was one, two, and three. Uh, the next one is a pretty cool casting too. This is the Mercury Cyclone. Um, this particular version that we're looking at is one of the colorways for 2016. Uh, this casting also had a mainline debut. It was debuted in the 2012 
mainline. And it's had some pretty cool releases. So it's been in the Cool Classics in 2013. And 2015 was in a Heritage Redlines series. So the, those are metal base versions of this casting. So there is a premium version of this casting out there ever since the Cool Classics. And then it was also a four, 2014 multi-pack exclusive. 2016 it was in the main line. Two different variations. This is one of them. And then uh, 2017 as a multi-pack. And that's all we've seen of it. So... We've had two kind of sort of premium releases. Neither had real riders, but they were both metal body, metal base. And then uh, basically four different releases for uh, mainline type releases with a plastic base, metal body. Um, I like this tooling. I think it's pretty cool. I think the Cyclone looks pretty awesome. Um, I really like that they have two of the same size wheels. And uh, overall, I think it's a great looking tooling. So uh, I dig that one quite a bit. All right, next up, <clears throat> we're gonna take a look at, this is another one I, 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 I enjoy. This is the 1968 Mercury Cougar. I've actually got three different versions of this we're gonna take, or variations of this we're gonna take a look at. Uh, this first one you're looking at is from 2007. It was in the Code Car series, which is a segment of the main line in 2007. Um, this casting dates all the way back to 2002. It has had an absolute ton of releases, just an absolute ton. Uh, most recently, it was released in the 2018 50th Anniversary Originals, which was made, they made it to look like a Redline car. And it looked pretty cool in that uh, release. It's had a few other releases where it's had metal bases. Um, it was in the 2011 Vintage Racing Series. It was in the 2013 Cool Classics uh, Series. It's had some multi-pack exclusive, K-Day, um, was in the Garage series, Larry's Garage, um, just a bunch. The, oh, the old classic series from 2005, um, and it was also a 2002 uh, Hot Wheels Collector Club Online apology card. Car. I don't know what that's about, what their apology car is about, but, hmm, might not be a bad idea, Mattel, for you to come up with an apology card now. <laughs> a lot of people having issues with the website is what I'm referring to. And, uh, yeah, maybe doing something about it would probably be probably be pretty stand-up-ish of you. All right, so that's where I'm going to go there. This uh, casting is kind of cool. Again, we got two of the same size wheels, so I'm a fan of that. Uh, it's got a chrome base, metal body, uh, nice color green here with this some stripe that ends into flame and then i've got one more variation of the same thing here this is from 2007 as well just a different colorway and this is that one these had web codes underneath the car by the way that's why they were called code cars i don't really know the significance of them and what you could do with the code cars oh, it probably tells you on the back here um something about a Collector poster, code cars. Uh, you go to hotwheels.com to activate your hidden code and unlock secret stuff about your vehicle. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's still valid, if you can still check it. Oh, and one other thing about the, the neat, I guess, about the blisters is they made the blisters like this, so you could not read the code uh, through the blister. Or at least would have a very hard time reading the code through the blister. Might not be impossible, but very hard to do. And yeah, that was just kind of an interesting idea. All right, so there's that. Here it is in black with a red stripe ending in a flame. And that looks pretty good as well. And then I got one more variation. Uh, this is from 2012 mainline, 68 Mercury Cougar. And there is your 2012 version. That uh, looks pretty good. We got a stripe on the top. We got the hood pins. We've got uh, some nice detail on the side. Again, no detail on the front or back of this car, which is a shame, because to me, that's what really makes the Cougar is kind of having that uh, like blacked out little front end there, and the way the tail lights looked on these cars, I thought was uh, uh, really awesome. So it's too bad that my favorite feature about the Mercury Cougar is not detailed. That's a decent tooling. Looks all right. I mean, it looks maybe a little like the body's a little skinny or a little flat, maybe. I don't know. 
but there it is. All right, next, another one of my favorites. This is the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. And I dig this casting quite a bit. I like how low it sits. Um, it's just got a cool stance to it and a cool look for a mainline Hot Wheels for sure. Let's just go ahead and open up this one. Now, this debuted in the 2008 mainline. This car that you're looking at right now is from the 2014 mainline. Looks pretty good. This coloration's not my favorite of it, but uh, not a bad tampo scheme. I think it looks pretty decent. My favorite one is the one that they came out in like 76 livery. Uh, that was really awesome. I think that was um, 2017 mainline or 2016 mainline. One of the two. Um, but this one is from 2014 mainline. This has basically only had mainline releases, except for in 2010 it had a Super Treasure Hunt release, which I guess technically is a mainline release, and it's had a multi-pack exclusive. Um, other than that, it's been strictly in the mainline. I actually wouldn't mind um, seeing a premium version of this casting. I don't know. I just kind of like it. I like how low it sits to the ground. I like the stance of it. I don't mind that it's a little bit exaggerated. I just think it looks kind of sleek and kind of cool. So that's why I dig it. Chrome base in this one. Blue interior. Eh. I dig it. And then we got the 1966 Ford 427 Fairlane. Fairlane. And this one... Um, is a pretty cool casting too. I like the look of this car as well. Um, this one is from 2016. Yeah, 2016. It's in purple with flames. Chrome base, chrome plastic base, of course. Five spoke wheels. I like the stance of this car. I like the way it looks. Um, I like that they used, again, both same size wheels on this one. Flame tampos look pretty good. It's in purple. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, this casting dates back to 2009. Um, it's had some notable releases, though. It's a, It's been a super treasure hunt, 2012. Um, it was in the Hot Wheels Garage series in 2011. Um, let's see. What else has it done? Mm, that's about it. But I believe there is a metal, uh, metal base version of this in the Hot Wheels Garage series, I think. Last we've seen this was in the 2019, uh, this year, in a five-pack. Um, I like this casting. I think it looks good. I just like the look of this car. I don't know. I just think the stance of it looks pretty awesome. And then we've got this one. So this one is also from 2016. This is the last car we're going to look at today. And it is the Kmart K-Day exclusive version of it in orange with flames. And I think it looks quite good in orange. Um, yellow windows, you know, you could do with or without. It's a mainline car, though. And I think it, I don't know. I like it. I think it's pretty nice. All right, so that's going to be it for this 10 Car Tuesday episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we looked at some mainline Hot Wheels. For this episode, and we do in a lot of these episodes. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, definitely check out my playlist of Ten Car Tuesday. Um, lots of videos to watch. I've been doing it for quite a while now. I don't know how many episodes I've had so far. I'd have to look, and I don't number these ones. But uh, I would def definitely recommend checking out, you know, all of them if you're a fan of this video format. Um, we just look at some cool cars. We look at ten of them. We open them all out of the package. That's kind of the rules to the game. I don't, uh, I don't take out ten cars from my loose collection that I already have loose. We open ten cars on Ten Car Tuesday, so it's kind of like a free the piece Friday, except for it's more mainline stuff usually, um, and we open it up. So, yeah pretty cool. All right, so let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. What casting did you like the best? Are there any of these castings that you really like and collect? And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a great day.